A common question I get from users is regarding the difference between the sorter and the organizer. In many places in the software, be it the timeline or the matrix or the find window, the flagging preferences, the two organizer and sorter logos always appear next to each other. There's very little difference between the two of them, but the primary difference is that user interface. I mean, both are considered playlists. They're both tools to collect, curate, and then present video. Now, which tool you use is up to personal preference. Generally, and this is by no means a rule, which tool you use is based upon what sport you're analyzing and which tool your organization uses more broadly. Organizers are more popular with rugby and soccer users, whereas sorters are more popular with basketball and ice hockey users. Now, to jump in and show you the difference, let's first look at the sorter. So, the thing with the sorter is that you'll see immediately it looks a lot like an Excel spreadsheet. On the y-axis down here, we have all of our different clips. And then on the x-axis, we have all of our label group names. So in this case for basketball, we have the timeline, start time, duration of the clip, the row it's come from, and its original instance in the timeline, along with some of these label groups like the inbounds play, who took the shot, the play call, rebounds, um, the fouls, the shot results, and the notes. Now, why the sorter is preferred by basketball analysts over the organizer is that you can see all of this information at once, especially in a single basketball position. There are so many different variables going on. How did the position start? What was the shot result? Um, were there rebounds involved? Who took the shot? Where did the shot occur from? Along with any notes that the coach might want to add as additional context. It's really helpful in a presentation-like format when you can see what clips are upcoming and the notes and the labels that are relevant to that clip. Now we can hide any of these columns by just selecting these columns and unchecking them. But in general, we can actually see all of these labels at once and that's the real benefit of the sorter. Now, like the organizer, from the sorter, we can send these clips to a database. We can send them to the studio to do some telestrations. We can export this video and we can upload these clips to Huddle as well. We compare this view to the, uh, the organizer. Now I have the exact same clips in this organizer as I did in that sorter. Now like the sorter, we can database these clips, telestrate them, export the video, or upload them to Huddle. But when we actually look at the data below the video, we'll see the primary differences. We can't see all of those labels in all of those notes all at once. The benefit of the organizer is that it's much easier to categorize these clips into different rows, very similar to how you would see in a timeline. So instead of having all of those clips stacked on top of each other, we have them neatly categorized into different rows. That's why this format is more popular with rugby and soccer analysts, where they're looking at more general philosophical concepts such as attacking philosophy or you know high press, mid block, those more larger events, more, more than when you would see in basketball, more specific instances that they're looking at, where there's more variables on that x-axis. So those are the primary differences between the sorter and the organizer. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully that was helpful.